Choices. Choice involves decision making. It can include judging the merits of multiple options and selecting one or more of them. The arrival at a choice can involve more complex motivators, such as cognition, instinct and feeling. A choice of multiple options can lead to regret, the alternative not taken, and confusion in an unconstructed existence. And the illusion that choosing an object or course necessarily leads to control of that object or course can cause psychological problems and distress. Can, can I, I have, have a lottery, lottery ticket, ticket please? please? Mum's birthday, 20. Sister's birthday, 1. birthday, 23. Mum's birthday, 4. Thank you. Um, 4, 7, 20, and... Oh, my lucky number 56. Thank you. Statistically, the numbers that get me to win are 37, 48, 26 and 2, please. Thank you. I always choose the same numbers. 7, 13, 34 and 14. Thank you. married 20 years. We have kids together. He was the love of my life. And I thought it was going to last forever. Oh, I'm home love. Hello? But he's been lying to me for the past seven years. It doesn't exactly take Sherlock Holmes to figure out that he's been spending one too many weekends away or extra nights at the office. He's having an affair. Oh, that's such a long day at work. What have you got in the oven? I don't know what to do. Do I choose myself for once, leave him, start a brand new life, or do I stay with him? I mean, it's not just about me, it's about him, it's, it's about my kids. Mum, what's for breakfast? Mum, she went into my room and took my money again! Your room, your money, my I room, my room! I earned it! Oh, look at you! They're such joys. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I don't really know anything anymore. Are you okay? You seem a bit down. I'm fine. You sure? Yeah, I just had a bad day at work, that's all. Right, I'm gonna go watch the cricket. Emily. What? Amy, Beth, how many more were there? What are you talking about? It doesn't take a genius to figure out where you've been going. How could you do this to me? Listen, listen, they never meant anything. Well, they must have meant something because clearly you thought sacrificing our marriage vows was worth a couple of fun nights. Sacrificing? I never meant anything by it. Please. Look, I just... I just don't know if I can do this. But we have kids! Get out of my room! Give me my penny bank back! Oh, you're such a bitch! Kill yourself! Two wonderful kids! I know. But this isn't my fault, this is yours. You're making me choose between staying with you, my cheating husband, or leaving and ruining my kid's life. Look, I love you. Or maybe I did once, but I can't do this anymore. Not the way you want it. <coughs> Something awful happened to my friend the other day. She hasn't been the same ever since the incident. And I don't know what to do. I don't remember much, but I was planning to meet her one day, so I went up to her front door. Knock, knock! No answer. No, 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 knock! Still no answer. No, 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 knock! I got bored of waiting, so I let myself in. <laughs> the house was silent at first. I thought maybe she was upstairs, so I went straight up there. But when I got up there, I heard a voice. And then another voice. Shh, be quiet. It was a man's voice. Shh, 
Be quiet. Do as I say. I thought maybe she had a new boyfriend I hadn't heard about, so I thought I should leave, but then I heard her. <coughs> screaming. I didn't know what to do, so I carried on going downstairs, but then I heard more screaming, so I had to as quickly as I could. I regret every decision I made that day. I don't know whether I should have gone to the police or just stayed quiet. If I had just done something. This is such a hard choice to make. I wish I'd done something, anything. Why didn't you help her? Why didn't I help her? Why didn't you help her? Why didn't I help her? Bye, Dad. I'm off to school. Wait. Yes, Dad? What's this? What's what, Dad? This! I thought I told you not to apply. I did, Dad. I got in. I got into Oxford, Dad. <gasps> Dad! Who would let a little shit like you into their university? I've been like this since mum died. I mean, other kids have their mums to look after them and their mums to make sure they're well fed and they've done their homework. I've got a dad who'd rather drink himself to death than acknowledge the fact that I'm alive. I mean, I applied to Oxford only because well, anything's better than this. Daddy said we can go to the country house this weekend. Oh, but I'm supposed to be going skiing with my sister. I said you're coming, so you're coming. Anyway, his grandma was telling me about the inheritance tax and... Um, excuse me. Excuse you. I think we're in the same college. The same college? The same college! You do realise this is Oxford University. My father went here. And his father, and his father. And his father. Shut up, he went to Cambridge. <laughs> Where did your father go to university? Yep. He didn't, did he? People like you don't belong here. Who would let a little shit like you into their universe? What are you even studying? You're no son of mine. Enough! I'm studying here, whether you like it or not. I've made that choice. I'm doing it for me. I'm doing it for mum. I suppose it started about a year ago, when, um, when my mum died. Uh, you, you see my son Alfie, he'd be about four now. But, um, his, his father left before he was even born. So my mum was like his second parent, you know, she practically raised him. And, and when she died, I felt so alone. And, uh, one night, I, I had a panic attack in the middle of the night, and I, I ran downstairs and into the garden and I just cried and I cried and I cried and I could have been there for five minutes, I could have been there for an hour, I, I really couldn't tell you. And then there was a man's voice. He asked me if I wanted to buy anything and, and you've got to understand me, I wouldn't have done anything, and I'm not with Alfie full stop, but especially the age he was. He sold me crack and, and when I first used it, everything felt better again. You've got to understand me, everything felt better again. And, and then, that's how addictions start, isn't it? That's why I'm here. You've got to help me get Alfie back. They, they took him away from me. I, I've made the decision to come here. I suppose it's like this lottery ticket. 
you think you're in control and you think you're making the decisions. And you are. It's your choice. I chose to do the drugs, but I've chosen to come to rehab. I made the choice to go to the police. I made the choice to go to university. I made the choice to leave my husband. And ladies and gentlemen, tonight's lottery numbers are...